The recently captured images by the James Webb Space Telescope, depicting concentric ripple rings encircling a remote star, have left astronomers puzzled. The perplexing nature of the new data has sparked considerable intrigue and prompted extensive analysis within the astronomical community. In July 2022, an intriguing image was captured. This marked the release of its initial set of full-color images. The said image was subsequently unearthed and shared on Twitter by citizen scientist Judy Schmidt, known for her public unveiling of remarkable images. Schmidt meticulously examines unprocessed public data to uncover previously unreleased magnificent images captured by the James Webb Space Telescope. Her most recent discovery unveils a celestial object known as WR140, encompassed by undulating patterns that gradually diminish as they extend from their origin. This finding offers a captivating glimpse into the cosmic wonders yet to be widely appreciated by the public. WR140, positioned approximately 5,600 light-years away from our planet within the Cygnus constellation, represents a variable star undergoing observable fluctuations in luminosity over prolonged durations. Interestingly, the undulations visible in the recently captured James Webb image do not display perfect circularity, leading some individuals to speculate about the potential of extraterrestrial origins for these anomalies. The star's variability has attracted significant scientific attention as it offers valuable insights into stellar evolutionary processes. Mark McCorrin offered guidance on scientific matters to the European Space Agency, characterized the visual representation as unconventional or unexpected. He provided an explanation that WR140 belongs to the category of wolf rayet stars, indicating that it has gone through a process where it has expelled a significant portion of its hydrogen envelopes and is currently undergoing the fusion of helium, or in some cases, has entirely ceased this process. Renowned astronomer McCorrin explained that the striking six-pointed blue formation captured in the James Webb telescope image is a product of optical diffraction resulting from the luminous star WR140. In contrast, the vibrant red, sinuous yet angular formations represent genuine phenomena, forming a sequence of concentric shells encircling WR140 within the vast expanse of space. Expressing his perplexity, McCorrin pondered the rationale behind the discrete, separate shells encasing the star as opposed to an anticipated spiral structure. This curiosity has ignited the scientific community's efforts to elucidate the complexities inherent in these enigmatic observations with fervent determination. During recent times, there have been significant advancements in astronomy, including the capture of infrared images of Jupiter and the unveiling of new images of exoplanets. This current period proves to be exceptionally thrilling for the field of astronomy. Furthermore, the upcoming decade of James Webb observations holds the promise of substantially enriching our comprehension of the universe, thereby contributing to a profound enhancement of our knowledge in this domain. Over the anticipated duration, the Webb telescope is projected to persist in illuminating previously unknown aspects of the initial stars and galaxies that emerged following the Big Bang. Certain sources suggest that it might even facilitate the discovery of extraterrestrial intelligence within the cosmos. This groundbreaking mission aims to provide profound insights into the earliest cosmic formations, pushing the boundaries of our understanding of the universe's origins and potential extraterrestrial existence. The James Webb Telescope just captured a mysterious aurora. Utilizing the James Webb Space Telescope from NASA, Astronomers have made an intriguing discovery of a celestial object known as a failed star or brown dwarf, displaying compelling indications of having an aurora phenomenon. Auroras, also commonly known as the northern and southern lights, occur when charged particles discharged by the sun collide with molecules in the Earth's atmosphere. These stunning natural light displays are predominantly visible in regions near the poles due to the Earth's magnetosphere, directing the particles towards the polar areas. The phenomenon of auroras involves the interaction of solar winds with the Earth's magnetic field, leading to a spectacular visual manifestation of the energy exchange between the Sun and our planet. Auroras have been observed on various celestial bodies within our solar system, including Jupiter and Saturn, as well as on dynamic moons such as Io of Jupiter and Enceladus of Saturn. 
It is believed that all these captivating displays of light are probably the result of being bombarded by charged solar particles. The recently discovered luminous phenomenon encircling the brown dwarf W, 1935, positioned more than 40 light years away from our planet, has sparked intrigue due to its enigmatic nature. The absence of neighboring stars capable of supplying the energized particles raises questions about the source of its illumination. The James Webb Telescope has also made a number of interesting discoveries in regards to exoplanets. The exoplanets, although sharing a common feature, exhibit remarkable diversity and stark differences from one another. These distant celestial bodies, now under the scrutiny of the James Webb Space Telescope, are unraveling their unique and awe-inspiring characteristics. The multitude of peculiarities displayed by these alien worlds is being unveiled, showcasing their astonishing variations through the lens of the James Webb Telescope. Launched during the festive season of Christmas Day in 2021, the Robot Observatory, with an impressive investment of 10 billion, has been playing a pivotal role in revolutionizing our understanding of the planets within our galaxy. According to Dr. Hannah Wakeford, an esteemed astrophysicist from Bristol University, it entailed a substantial six-month duration to meticulously position the telescope and ensure the seamless functioning of its systems. Consequently, the year 2023 marked its inaugural full calendar year of active operation. Dr. Wakeford emphasized that the outcomes achieved have exceeded all initial anticipations, reflecting the remarkable success of the venture. The James Webb Space Telescope comprises a colossal 6.5-meter mirror coated with gold, an expansive sunshield comparable in size to a tennis court, and a sophisticated suite of instruments meticulously chilled to temperatures mere degrees above absolute zero. These extraordinary components enable the telescope to explore the cosmos using infrared radiation, unveiling intricate details of the universe's early stages, shortly after the Big Bang, which occurred approximately 13.8 billion years ago, along with capturing captivating images of the genesis of stars within cosmic dust clouds. The telescope's innovative technology and design position it to delve into the deepest realms of space, providing unprecedented insights into the origins and evolution of our universe. The James Webb Space Telescope not only presents significant scientific advancements, but also offers the gift of studying extrasolar planets, also known as exoplanets, by utilizing infrared radiation. This unique capability makes infrared radiation particularly suitable for examining worlds that orbit stars other than our Sun. Consequently, the telescope is catalyzing an evolutionary phase in the field of astronomy, revolutionizing the way we perceive and study celestial bodies outside our solar system. Centuries passed with humans acknowledging only the planets visible within our solar system. However, scientists contemplated whether our Sun's planetary lineup was representative of other celestial families. They pondered whether planets were abundant in the wider galaxy or if they were a rarity. These inquiries held significant weight as the latter scenario, which indicated a scarcity of planets in the cosmos, would also suggest a limited likelihood of extraterrestrial life. The difficulty faced by astronomers arose from the stark contrast in brightness between stars and planets. Stars emit intense light, whereas planets, being significantly smaller, appear considerably dimmer in comparison, and hence were challenging to detect next to their luminous celestial counterparts. The breakthrough came at the turn of the century, with the advent of advanced, highly sensitive cameras equipped on both ground-based telescopes and space-based observatories. This technological evolution allowed for the precise identification of subtle reductions in brightness caused by exoplanets as they transited in front of their host stars. This monumental advancement marked a significant leap in astronomical capabilities, enabling the discovery and study of distant planetary systems with unprecedented precision. Following the initial transit observations, the number of discoveries in the field of exoplanets experienced a significant surge. This surge has resulted in a current total of 5,566 observed exoplanets, as documented in NASA's Extrasolar Planet Archive. Astronomers emphasize the significance of the proximity of several hundred celestial bodies to Earth, stating that these present a prime opportunity for examination using the James Webb Telescope. Already, 
WASP-107b, characterized by its quartz clouds and the solitary planets within the Orion Nebula, have been meticulously analyzed, alongside numerous other exoplanets. These objects offer a wealth of potential for comprehensive study, highlighting the profound implications of their accessibility and the immense potential for enriching our understanding of the cosmos. Astrophysicist Professor Jane Birkby from the University of Oxford expressed gratitude for the unprecedented discovery of numerous exoplanets, emphasizing the extraordinary opportunity it presents for thorough observation, in-depth analysis of their atmospheres, and even the detailed mapping of their characteristics. She highlighted the remarkable progress in exoplanet exploration over the past three decades, underscoring that it was once uncertain whether these celestial bodies even existed. Astronomers utilizing the James Webb Space Telescope have set their sights on TRAPPIST-1 as one of the initial focal points. TRAPPIST-1 is characterized as a small, cool star belonging to the Red Dwarf category and is situated 40 light-years away from Earth. This star system consists of seven small, rocky exoplanets, with three of them positioned within the habitable zone, an area where conditions are conducive to the presence of liquid water. Maintaining the right temperature balance, the habitable zone is neither too hot nor too cold, thereby allowing for the existence of liquid water, a critical component for the potential development of life, as indicated by astrobiologists. In-depth analyses conducted using the James Webb Space Telescope have provided insights into the atmospheric compositions of two innermost exoplanets in the TRAPPIST-1 system, namely TRAPPIST-1b and TRAPPIST-1c. The findings indicate that these planets exhibit either a minimal or complete absence of atmospheric cover. Nevertheless, ongoing and extensive James Webb Telescope investigations are being organized to scrutinize the remainder of the planetary system. According to astronomer Dr. Joe Barstow from the Open University, despite the revealed atmospheric conditions, the TRAPPIST-1 system remains a compelling candidate for those in search of exoplanets with potential habitability. So, what do you make of these recent discoveries? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comments section below and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.